She might already seem like a figure from the past, but today, Theresa May had something to say about the future. We want this to be the place everyone thinks of and comes to first when they want to develop their world-changing tech ideas. Opening London Tech Week, the outgoing Prime Minister made the big sell for investment. At the heart of our modern industrial strategy. Despite all this tech, the real theme of this conference is global politics, specifically China. And if you just walked up, you might have got the impression it was a bit of a loving. There are these leaflets scattered everywhere. Chinese champagne, Chinese investment. And right over there, behind closed doors, the PM is meeting with Tencent and Alibaba, the Chinese equivalent of Amazon and Facebook. That loving goes back years. China has invested £29 billion in the UK since 2005, more than any other European country. It's put money into energy, entertainment, banking and telecoms, where one Chinese company's relationship with the UK's four main mobile operators has come under intense scrutiny. The US has blacklisted Chinese telecoms firm Huawei over security concerns. Today, the firm's cybersecurity chief faced tough questions from MPs. Chinese organizations and individuals are required to cooperate with the Chinese intelligence services. I'm saying that the interpretation of what that means according to our legal advice does not require Huawei to undertake anything that weakens Huawei's position in terms of security. I think that's entirely unbelievable. What is believable? The power of Chinese investment. This group of investors has £50 million to invest in UK startups. They're confident any new Prime Minister will quickly see sense. Automatically become, become pro-China because he will realise in about a few months' time that working with China can bring benefit to British as a country and uh, British people, British technologies. Is it too late to disengage? One answer lay in the car parked by the Prime Minister's podium. Look closely at even the best-known brands and you'll discover they too are owned by China.